Hey everyone, it's Miss Malia, Food Corps Service Member at CAS. Today for garden class, we're going to be talking a little bit more about beneficial bugs. In the garden, sometimes pesty bugs can hurt our crops. Some farmers will use poisons to kill those pests. However, when you use poison, it can hurt other bugs in the garden and it can hurt us. So what do you do if you love your plants but you also love bugs. Enter the beneficial bugs. Let's play a little game of pests versus beneficials. All right, first up, ladybug. What do you think about the ladybug? Is this a beneficial bug, a good bug? Or is this a bug that you don't want in the garden? All right. If you guessed beneficial, you were right. Ladybugs eat aphids and other insects that make plants sick. How about aphids? Are aphids a beneficial bug for the garden or are these a bug that's gonna make plants sick? What do you think? All right, aphids are a so aphids will actually suck the juice out of plants and that can make them sick because sometimes they carry, the aphids carry diseases with them. Okay, how about lacewig? What do you think of this insect? Beneficial or pest? Hmm, beneficial. Lacewig is a beneficial bug because it eats aphids and other bugs that can make plants unhappy. All right, how about a ground beetle? What do you think? Beneficial or pest? Hmm. The ground beetle. It is beneficial. Ground beetles can eat slugs and slugs um, hurt plants because they eat a lot of the leaves of the plants. Okay, how about wasps? Beneficial or pest? Hmm, wasps, what do you think? Beneficial or pest? Beneficial, because wasps help to keep harmful bugs away from our plants. And today, in the lesson, I'm gonna show you a little bit more about how they do that. This is the Aphidius colmani wasp. Do you see the name of a pest in the name of this bug? Hmm, any familiar words in the name Aphidius colmani? What do you think? If you guessed aphid, you're right. The aphidius colmani wasp helps gardeners who have too many aphids making plants in their garden sick. Let's take a look at the life cycle of the aphidius colmani wasp. This wasp actually lays its egg inside an aphid and then turns the aphid into a protective shell. The aphid dies and the wasp egg turns into a wasp larvae inside. Finally, the wasp comes out of the aphid as a fully formed wasp. A little weird, right? But it's just a part of nature. This is the trichogramma wasp. This wasp helps to get rid of garden pests such as tomato hornworms. Guess what a tomato hornworm eats? Tomato plants. How about a cabbage worm? You guessed it, a cabbage worm eats cabbage plants. What about corn worms? Those pesky corn worms eat corn plants. The trichogramma wasp lays eggs in or on other garden pests, like the tomato hornworm or the cabbage worm. The trichogramma wasp eats the worm and uses it as shelter. Don't worry, these wasps don't sting humans. There are lots of different wasp heroes out there. These are just a few. To end today's lesson, I've got a song about beneficial bugs, and my boyfriend Zach is here. He's going to sing along and play along with us today. Ready? Ready. Hey. 
Enjoyed this song. See you all next time. Bye. <laughs>